Well, 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 look, I've got a mystery guest today. It's Mary. Mary. Hello, Pudgy. Look at the screen. Look at yourself. There you are. She just saw herself. Hi. So this is Mary, my black, black, big, fat Pudge. Okay. Now, there's a reason why I'm showing you Mary this morning, because Mary is now my cat. Yeah, look at the excitement. Look at the excitement. She is so happy that she's now my cat. Okay, I'll show you her excitement. I'm going to bring her in so you can see her excitement. It's like crickets. You know, elevator music. I love you. Okay, off you go. All right, okay. There's a reason why I just showed you Mary. Okay, covered me with her. All right. The reason why is because today I'm going to talk about raising up our vibrations, okay? Sometimes we can do all the work on ourselves, but it's better when we do it for other people or other things, right? So let me just go into a little story about Mary. I moved into this house nine years ago and Mary turned up, the, I was turning up with boxes as I was unpacking stuff, Mary walked casually into my backyard. Do, 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 do. Queen bee pregnant. So I went across and I spoke to the neighbours. Who owns the cat? Oh, they said oh, that she's been owned by them. They called her Honey. She's been owned by them. They called her Claire. She's been over there. She's been over there. Oh, and she's had about three or four litters of kittens. So not only did we have Mary coming, but we had all these other cats. All her offspring were turning up as well. So over the years, all the other kit kits went missing or taken to the farm or the vet or the welfare pound, right? So there was all these options for all the cats, but Mary prevailed. Mary used to come to my yard and of course I'd give her a bowl of water and some biscuits, right? So I kept looking after Mary. So then one day the neighbour next door, they took in Mary and they called her Boots. So they had Mary for about a year. They got her to sex, they got her wormed and blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden they came over one day and they said, we're going away for a week, can you come in and feed Boots? So I had their house key for next door. I was going in every twice a day, morning and night, cleaning up the kitty tray, feeding boots, boots, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. They come over oh, about two months after that and they said, uh, we're actually moving. Um, we can't take the cat, so we're just going to leave it in the backyard. Great. So Mary, over the next six months, Started coming into my yard more, coming into the house more, to the point where she now sleeps on my bed. Okay? Mary. So, finally I decided I have to register this cat because she now lives inside more than she does outside. She doesn't go into any other yards anymore, so she's my cat. I've got to do the right thing and register her. So we went up to the shop and we caught, we got one of those, you know those plastic cat carriers? They're the genetic ones, they've got like a cage door at the front, you click it together so it comes out through its hole, you open it up, you put the cat inside. Guess what? The cat wouldn't go inside because my cat is too fat, freaking pudgy. She's a pudgy fat cat, so she would not fit into the carrier. So we had to go out and buy a royal barge of cat carriers. Now, if you don't know what a barge is, a royal barge, here are some photos of what royal barges, whoops, get rid of that. That's what royal barges look like, right? Royalty sits on them, so as they're going down on their journey, they can wave to their insignificant civilians of their counties. Hello, you scumbags, I'm sitting here in my gold royal barge. So we went out and got Mary a royal barge of cat carriers. You ready for what it looks like? It's a bag. So there's the top handle. It's a bag, right? And when you turn it around, it's got its own carry case. So you can put it over your shoulder. And it's got these bits here. So these all undo, right? So you can have just their head sticking out. 
or they can just go in and out okay and it all and it's got its little thing so you can roll that up okay so I put that back down there and then this whole thing oh this bit here all opens up on the top so you can get your animal in and out there as well okay oh my god Mary just got spoiled but the big one I love is the whole thing comes off so I'm just undoing the whole zipper around and there it is you've got your own cat bed now only do you have your own cat bed but you've also got your whole insert lamb's wool it's lamb's wool okay and it's also got a zip so there's the zip it's got its own zip on it so you can clean it okay so we bought this it was not cheap it wasn't cheap because it's all lamb's wool. It's beautiful lamb's wool. It's a beautiful cat bed. Okay, so she sleeps in. She doesn't sleep in it because she knows what she does in it. Okay, so you put it all together and you can take her to the vet and carry her in her royal barge. So we stick her in it. She's like, oh God, this is new. Haven't been in a box before. Take her to the vet and guess what she's done on the way to the vet? She pooed all over it all over it pooed on it everywhere so we're at the vets and thank god we took we took a huge bag of these baby wipes and a couple of baby sacks right so there i am cleaning her bum her royal barge my daughter had poo all over a shirt so i'm there cleaning it all the vets go oh, <laughs> like they don't see this every day right <laughs> So we get into the car, coming home after we got him microchipped, we got all the certificates for registration, brought her home, and she's pooed all over it again. So in the bath goes Mary. Oh my God, she was in the bath, because thank God we've got cat shampoo, and I'm there frothing it all up, and I wear gloves, believe me, I wear gloves, right? <laughs> Cleaning all the bomb, getting all this poo off it, blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah. Mary registered mine now woohoo so we've got to laugh at these instances right because yeah it was a big expense <laughs> it was a big expense but I joke now Mary has her own royal barge when she travels now okay I'm just her servant all right carrying the treats and her baby wipes just in case she poos and don't be don't be alarmed by the little ones because she's not a little one she's a big fat pudgy one okay or else she would have fitted into that little cage that we did buy her that was quite cheap from the cheap shop okay so how do we raise up our vibration so we aren't getting negative by all this stuff going on around us anymore okay one I could have dealt with that situation so many different ways I could have gone nah she's not getting a barge <laughs> We're just going to go and get a box from a bin somewhere to close her in and take her to the vet. We could have easily done that. I could have easily said, no, nope, I'm not going to register her. She can just stay here. A lot of cats in this area aren't registered, obviously. So why would I even want to bother there? Well, let's go there because I'm a responsible and um, accountable person. All right. So it shows my attribute straight away. So as soon as I say, you know what, I'm going to do this because I'm not like the other people in my street. I'm above that. I, I'm a, an accountable person. and I want to be a law-abiding citizen. I'm going to go and do this. So straight away, I'm making myself feel proud. Huh. Okay. So I've now got the pride. I've also got this amazing cat carrier now that also converts into a bed. For Mary, if she uses it, well, she's on my bed now, I can tell you, because I just heard her jump up there. Um, she's sleeping now on my four-poster mahogany bed, okay? So don't think that she's just sleeping on a box, okay? <laughs> anyway, so Mary is, she's, there's a lot of options there where I could have blamed her. Oh, I kind of feel money, it's coming up to Christmas, blah, blah, blah. So there's my energy, <laughs> like the coyote jumping off a cliff after the road runner, right? So lots of things could have happened that day. But because I have a positive attitude and because I always look at things for the good and not the bad, sorry, I've got a cat hair on my nose now, um, I always look for the best in every opportunity, okay? How much do you think I was laughing when I was getting all that poo off the bloody lamb's wool 
insert of her cat cage. Wow. I was laughing hysterically. Okay, so we've got to look at the bad. Oh, a little bit of take that back. Start again. We've got to look for the good in every situation. Okay, I have been doing, it's called the Silver Mind Control Method. Started it only two nights ago. Okay, and I can tell you right now, the dreams I'm having are healing dreams. They're pretty damn bad. But I am waking up in a really good mood, okay? I'll tell you what I usually do. I get up, I have my coffee, and I eat my breakfast while I'm on the computer. I look at my emails, reply to people if it needs a, um, if it needs a reply. I'll do some other stuff in the house. So about 7.30, we take Mary in the front yard, if Tash is here, and I walk up and down my driveway, which is over here through this window. I go to the gutter and I walk back and I do about three or four kilometres, which is about two to three miles that I'll walk of a morning. This morning, I'm in such a great mood and I carry my phone so I can see how many miles I walk. I thought, I'm going to put on Led Zeppelin cashmere. Do 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 oh, oh, oh. So as I'm walking up and down the driveway, whoa, there goes a drunk neighbour. Okay, it's all good. Let him do whatever he wants, right? Because I'm not getting into his energy today. So I'm walking up and down my street, um, my driveway, singing that. And then I come inside and I thought, I'm not finished yet. I'm in such a good mood. Who can I play now? So I went over to the TV, put on YouTube, and Bon Jovi, Dry County. It's called Dry County. Do, 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 Look at my energy right now. Now, they're only slow songs, but the words are so good. It's talking about how the grass is not greener on the other side. Okay? Okay? I came here like so many did to find my pot of gold type thing, right? And he says, um, cross the border, they turn water into wine. Because there's this promise over there that if you cross over that fence, that metaphorical fence, that the grass is always greener on the other side. So he went over there and he found out that it's absolutely dirt. There's no gold, it's just all dirt. There's no money, there's no gold, everyone's broke and everyone's depressed. Okay, so don't look at other people, don't accuse them and say, wow, look at your life, it's so much better than my own. Never, ever do that, okay, because you don't want to be in other people's shoes, you don't know what they're struggling with mentally, okay. So there I was this morning doing all my Raise My Vibration exercises and I feel great. One, when we raise our vibration, I'm going to give you a hint, when you raise your vibration, do not care what anybody else thinks. If you want to go up and down your street with your Walkman, iPad, <laughs> showing my age here because some people still have those, right? Even if it's your phone blaring out a song and you're sitting there, oh yeah, hey, blah, blah, blah. Who the hell cares? I don't. So why should I worry about what they think? And I'm going to tell you something. Guy across the road, okay, with the goose, he's got himself a new girlfriend. Oh, my God. How do you think she's reacted? She got in a car and drove away. Now, I don't know if that was because of me with my music blaring at 7.30 this morning. Well, here in Australia, you can make noise from 7, okay? You can make a yard at 7 o'clock in the morning. And my noise this morning was nowhere near that loud, okay? But let's go there. Other people will judge us. They will accuse us when we raise our vibration, okay? Because they're stuck and they don't know how to do it. So if we show physically how we do it, they may, may want to jump on board as well, okay? I tell the story. One day I was driving down my main road at 7.30 when I used to do first aid courses. So I was taking a school, Tashi to school really early in the morning and guess what happened? Here at the bus stop next door to us, there's this big line of everybody wearing their black because they're all going into the city where everyone wears black. Why do you think they all wear black? Because it's so depressing. Okay, think about it. They do this deliberately. Why don't they just say, if you work in the city now, you've got to wear bright purple or bright blue. They don't want us to, to 
be vibrant. They want to keep our vibrations down. That's why everyone in the city wears black. Have you worked this out yet? Okay. So everyone's in this bus stop all wearing their black and they're all on their phone doing this. But one girl, she's in the actual bus stop where they've got the little seat. She's standing on there in a little black skirt with her black stockings and a black shirt on. And she's got the earphones on doing this. <laughs> Who's got life right? She'd go to work that day, not caring what anybody else thought. She'd be there doing the most productive day on the planet. Probably coming up with them some really cool ideas because she's not bring, letting anyone else bring her down to their level. Okay, so the first thing with raise your vibration, don't care about what other people think that you're going to do. Okay, the way we build self-confidence is when we say, I don't give a rat's for what you think. Okay, I don't care what you think. Because your opinion of me does not matter to me, okay? Eleanor Roosevelt, back in the 1930s or whenever it was, she was married to the um, president of the USA. The, the, pre the press were giving her a really bad rep because, oh, no, we can't have a first lady who goes out and opens schools. We can't have a first lady who goes and... and shakes hands with handicapped children oh no we can't have that so they were putting her down in the press so she actually wrote this op-ed back in the yeah she was the first op-ed where she said your opinion of me is no business to me okay she said something like that what you think of me is none of my business that's what it was what you think of me is none of my business and as soon as we realize what that means and we take that on board and we say to ourselves, you know what, that's right. I don't give a heck what that person thinks of me. I don't worry about what they feel. I'm not going to concern myself with how they think. Okay, because look, we're coming up to the silly seat. Well, we're in the silly season. We're coming up to the day, the day where we go and see people that we don't want to see or people see us that I don't want to see you, right? There's always these family or friend conflicts, right? And at the end of the day, you don't have to pretend. You don't have to say, oh my gosh, I love you, and then just go, yeah, 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 behind their back. Except if you're me, because I love everybody. I tell everybody, I don't care how much you've hurt me in the past, I still send love and light to everybody, okay? Even people who have really, 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 even the guy who killed me, okay? I send him love every day and I hope and pray he heals what happened to him, okay? So, every day. So, okay. So, once we realize that when we're going to raise our vibration, we've got to concern ourselves only with us. It's not being selfish. It's not being conceited. It's not being... Um, um, what's the old saying? Um, the universe revolves around me, right? We're not those people. We're not those people because we still care and we judge and well, I mean, we don't judge, but we yeah, you know, we concern ourselves with everybody, right? But at the end of the day, if we can say, I'm going to look after me first because as soon as I raise up my vibration and I'm going to put this vibration of energy out there to everybody, everyone else is going to feel it, okay? They're going to feel it, and then it's up to them whether they want to be a part of it. Or if they go, get away from me and pull out the garlic, okay? So it's up to them what they do. So that's the first rule of raising up our vibration, okay? Raising up your vibration is when you look at the positive side of everything. Did I need to go and buy a couple of hundred dollars two weeks before Christmas for a cat barge? A raw, I'll get it right. <laughs> a cat royal barge. Did I have to go and spend that much money on Mary right before Christmas when that money could have gone to Tashi? Guess why I did it. Mary's been with us for nine years. So that's my appreciation. That's my gratitude. That's my thanks, Mary, for you being who you are with me, my support network. You're my company when no one else is here. So that's why I, I buy her these things that she goes and poos all over.
But I don't care about that because she was stressed. She's never been in a box. Last time she was in a box, she got dissexed. That wouldn't have been such a good thought, right? So, of course, I'm going to let her lie on my bed and enjoy her retirement years, right? So at least now we've got this big cat carrier. And as someone said to me the other day, they said, oh, my God, what are you going to do when the cat dies? Well, I don't, 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 don't think of that. Mary would be at least 13 years old now. And, you know, when Mary goes, we can get another cat because now we've already got the barge for it. <laughs> So we don't think what's future, okay? When you raise your vibration up, don't think about the future. So if you want some little um, notes today, the first one with how to raise your vibration is don't worry what other people think of you. Number two, okay? Always look for the goodness in every situation. How bad is it is only a fragment of our imagination. Okay, a figment. So we don't have to always say, oh my God, my life is so bad. I commented in this group the other day, this woman said, oh my God, my life is so bad. Oh, everything's going all wrong, blah, 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 blah. So I replied and I said, mate, do you know how much negativity you've got around you? So she replied and she said, you don't know what I'm like, my life's like. My car just broke down. I've just lost my job. I can't afford my rent. I can't do this. I can't do that. So I replied and I said, mate, you're creating all this in your own negativity. Oh, man, did she go off because she can't fathom it. As soon as we're grateful that our car doesn't work because now we've got that opportunity to walk or to rely on somebody else. So we can now show generosity to somebody else giving us support and generosity. She couldn't see it. Okay, she could not see it. If you're living above your means, well, this is a big wake up call to say, hey, maybe you should downgrade a little bit, you know, go and get some more training. It's an opportunity of development or personal development to start seeing who we are. And I know that's hard words, guys. And I know some of you will be sitting there and they go, yeah, yeah, easy enough for you to say that, Linda. But you know, at the end of the day, when you're homeless, you know, but as soon as we turn it around mentally and we say to ourselves, you know what, life is great. Because the more we say my life's in the poo poo -pee doos we're creating that. We are creating that. So turn it all around. Raise your vibration up. The first one is, oh, my God, who can tell me what the first rule was? Were well, you listening? Huh, I'm going to end it here. Because I want to see if you were listening. Because today there's three ways. I want you to make up the three ways. Think of the three ways to raise your vibration. Okay? So that's enough for today. I love you all. I'm going to do some more videos shortly. So you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.